everybody. Welcome back to another slideshow. I hope you're getting them. I, I'll be honest. I'm not sure half the time uh, with all the buttons to press. I'm hoping I'm putting them publicly on YouTube, but we shall see. All right. We're going to talk right now. I made some adjustments to the video. Okay. Give me that to the video, to the PowerPoint. And so it's now in the, the latest edition. This version is in the Wednesday, tomorrow's module. So you can go there. I made some changes. We'll go over those changes right now and talk about concept. Now, hopefully, too, keep praying that we get back so we can do our grant and box activities. That's always a lot of fun. All right. Right now, we're just going to continue with operant conditioning. Talk about escape and avoidance learning. You can see right here kind of what it is just with this image. Got escape conditioning where the dog is escaping from this unpleasant stimulus. Um, and then we'll explain the rest of it. Now, escape learning. So first, learning to perform a behavior because it terminates an unpleasant or uncomfortable or painful stimulus. So obviously this is uncomfortable, possibly painful. The dog's going to escape it, okay? It's not avoiding because it's already feeling it, okay? Now, avoidance, learning to avoid events um, that have that same aversive consequence um, because you, you've gone through that, you've gone through situations and you've had to escape, eventually you learn to avoid that, okay? This is what this dog is doing here. It tied in when they, in the experiment, they tied the sound in with the electrification. So the sound would go off, the horn would go off, then this would happen. Brief interlude between them, so the dog would learn that once it heard this, shortly after, it was going to feel this electrification, so... The animal learned to avoid it. It didn't want to feel this, heard the sound, boom, off it went, and it avoided it completely. So that's just the difference between escape and avoidance conditioning. It's operant, not classical, because this is active. It's learning. It is making a choice to jump over here. It's not just waiting. So it has actually learned something, so that goes into operant conditioning. Okay. Again, another example here. Escape, you hear thunder outside. You know, we've all been there. You stay outside. Oh, it'll be it'll be okay. You know, we'll just stay out. It's not raining yet. Blah, blah, blah. So then you stay out. You get soaked. It rains sooner than you think. You get caught. You get soaked. You're cold. You're wet. You're uncomfortable. doesn't matter if you put up an umbrella or go inside. You're already feeling that way. So after a while, next time, third time, whatever, you hear the thunder. You go inside. You know what to do. We've learned that. Okay, it sounds very simple. There's actually a study behind this. So the difference here, main difference, is the timing, okay, in what you do. So one, you're escaping when you feel it. The other, you're avoiding it prior to that sensation, prior to the, the stimulus. Now, a couple other uh, new um, slides on this. I took one slide and turned it into three, shaping, extinction, generalization. We might talk about those, but make yourself through the reading and through looking at the slideshow, uh, make yourself familiar with them. Anyway, I will talk to you later and have a good evening.